CRYSTAL is a phase 3 randomized trial where patients were treated in the first-line setting with the combination of Folfiri plus Cetuximab versus Folfiri alone. Already uh, some years ago, we have seen the data on QRAS determination and the impact on the outcome of these patients. We have seen the extended ROS determination, meaning the um, mutations that occur outside exome 2. First of all, we have seen that the incidence is around 15%, and second, that you have an impact on the um, important efficacy parameters such as response, PFS, and overall survival. OPUS um, is a smaller study, is a phase two study where patients were treated with um, oxaliplatin-based chemotherapy as the backbone in combination with cetuximab and um, uh, compare it with chemotherapy alone, oxaliplatin-based chemotherapy. It's again a, a study that is performed in the first-line setting and what is presented here is the extended RAS analysis and what have been seen is that um, you see some tendency of a bet better outcome in these patients but the numbers are relatively small because the numbers of samples that are available to do this type of analysis are limited. So it's not as strong than what we have seen with CRYSTAL, but there is a tendency in favour of. Now we are moving from the metastatic setting to the adjuvant setting, and there it is the question, do biomarkers play a role in the prognosis of our patients. And one of the key questions is, because there are some conflicting data, is QRAS mutation status important in predicting the prognosis of patients with stage three colon cancer? Based on the ERTC PETAC study that was uh, presented, um, it is shown that if you have a mutation and depending on the location of your tumor, there is a prognostic impact uh, on the outcome of these patients. So the future studies has to build in that status and also the location of uh, the tumor to see what is the effect of adjuvant treatment in stage three patients.